Yo, welcome to Troy Story, the three minute news segment. Uh, I am going to work on a proper theme tune, that's just merely a, uh, a temporary theme tune whilst I'm thinking of the current one, which is a bit better. Um, but yes, yeah, so... This is the news story for anyone that's been tuning in the past couple of nights um, where I cast my net wide into the world of cyberspace and I pluck out a couple of news stories to share with you all now. Uh, here's the fruits of my labour. Now, just a few things uh, for anybody out there who's getting sick and tired of me doing this shit on the news feed. I am going to be creating a page which I will be posting at the bottom of this video. Uh, so uh, you can all click on that if you like it. Then you'll be on my personal harem, my band of acolytes, and we can you know, I can nurture you and mould you and then send you out to wage war on the council or whatever it is we do. But tonight's themed issue, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's a badass brother, I tell you. It's wildlife, okay? Wildlife. I haven't got an animal costume, so it's not going to be as good as last night's one. But I do have this shirt, bit of animal print maybe. Who knows? Right, so we're starting off in India. And police in India have arrested a pigeon. This is a 100% true news story. We're setting the bar high already with this one. So uh, a pigeon was actually discovered carrying a small note threatening the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is serious stuff. Now the police inspector Rakesh Kumar said, We took it into custody last evening with a note written in Urdu saying each and every child is ready to fight against India. Now, first of all, I just want to make it abundantly clear that the behaviour of one terrorist pigeon does not define the entire pigeon community, the majority of whom are peaceful and law-abiding. And secondly, how does one actually radicalise a pigeon? I can't even get them to move out of the way when I'm shopping in the streets. And, and at what point does a pigeon go from fighting over scraps of bread in the slums of Islamabad to literally declaring war on India. This pigeon's got some serious problems, man. <laughs> it's a genuine, a genuine threat to society. You know, you don't expect that kind of behaviour from pigeons, from seagulls, perhaps, don't you? The avian manifestation of working class anger, you know, bin bag puncturing, chip stealing, beer swilling seagulls, the kind of birds that vote for UKIP. They love a proper row, but pigeons, but you don't expect it. I don't need to trust anymore, to be honest with you, folks. Uh, I'm only going to associate with the novelty birds from now on, and so should you, like uh, the flamingos and the penguins and your toucans and whatnot, you know. Get myself an ostrich security guard. Looks like the only way forward. Um, moving on to North Korea, then. A chimpanzee in Pyongyang, capital city, by the name of Azalea, smokes 20 cigarettes a day. <laughs> We, we, you know, whilst it's actually quite cigarette uh, tragic that a chimpanzee would smoke 20 fags a day just to get through the hell of captivity, um, it is also equally hilarious. So it's a bit of a moral grey area there. But what I find is quite funny is that it's actually somebody's job to go out and buy a chimpanzee a packet of cigarettes. Like that, that is somebody's job. You know, it's not like the chimpanzee's nipping down to the offie to buy its own Marlboro Reds uh, or anything like that. You know, this this is actually a person's job to go out and do that. Um, which is, I quite like the idea that it's a gateway. The cigarettes are merely a gateway to other harder drugs. Like, it's, it's literally going to get to a point when somebody is picking up Class A's just to appease the desperation of a crackhead chimp just curled up, twitching in a pile of banana skins on its own like that. <laughs> And uh, finally, just before I leave you now, because I think we're overrunning on our three minutes, uh, an aeroplane in Kathmandu, Nepal, was forced to delay its landing after the pilot spotted a goat on the runway. And that should tell you everything you need to know about Nepalese airport security. So, like I said, there's going to be a big time page of the Troy story posted after this. If you have any fleck of enjoyment for what I'm doing, then just give it a like, share it around, and who knows, maybe we can create something beautiful. Thank you. Mwah.